what's up? Welcome back to my channel, guys. Welcome to another review. Today, we're gonna be looking at the East Oak 25 quart pans cooler. And we're gonna start off by going over the specs, taking a brief look at it, showing you how it comes packed. And I'll do a quick unboxing, and then I'm gonna put it through its paces, see how it, if it actually works well. So full disclosure, guys, East Oak Cooler reached out to me, asked me if I was in, interested in reviewing one of their coolers, uh, which I agreed to. I'm not being paid to make this review. I'm simply accepting a sample of their cooler in exchange for my honest thoughts and opinion, which is what I always do on this channel. And so we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and dive into the review. I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing of this. It comes in this box, as you can see here, very well packaged. Let me see if I can flip this over so you guys can look at it this way. Well, basically, it comes really well protected here. And we have a foam padding right here, which very thick foam padding, very nice. And here's our cooler. Oh, I got a white, the white one, so this is a nice color. Yeah, as I was saying, this comes in different colors. So here we have it. Very nice. We have all this uh, information pa pamphlets in here, certificate of authenticity. You have a unique product ID number. That's interesting. So this is for you to claim your three-year warranty. You have your owner's manual, and here's just they're promoting their social media platforms or their accounts. So I mentioned these come in different colors. They come in ivory white, arctic white, dark blue, and navy blue. So this cooler recently won the Red Dot Design Award, beating out competitors such as the Yeti Rody 24. A little bit about the dimensions, it's 14.81 inches high has a circumference of 21.14 inches. It weighs 16.32 pounds. Doesn't seem that heavy to me, but yeah, they come in two versions. I have the 25 quart, they have the 45 quart as well. I'm gonna provide you guys links down below in the description of this video. Those are affiliate links. They won't cost you any additional money, but uh, if you do go through those links, I will get a little kickback and that is always appreciated here on my channel. All right, guys, so here we have the top lid. You can see their East Oak 25 quart. This can hold 28 regular cans, depending on how much ice you put in there. Obviously, they recommend two to one ratio content to ice. So just keep that in mind. You may, that may vary for you, but it is what they're stating there is for regular cans. The top lid here is removable. You have your lid latches on the side right here on both sides. So you can completely remove the lid, put it back on. The lid can be used one-sided only, and that's for either side. You can do it this side if you want this way, or you can, like I said, you can just remove it all. You have these nice handles on the side, ergonomically designed handles. Uh, they are removable handles. They have two screws here that you can remove. This chamber is eight inches deep. Let's see here, it's kind of shallow. You'll notice on the bottom of the, uh, chamber on the inside here, you have these diversion grooves. And they designed this to separate the ice and the water. And basically what it's gonna do, it is going to prevent it from melting so fast, keeping everything nice and cool in here for you. Back over here to the uh, lid, here's the bottom part of it. You have, again, your lid latches on each side, and then you have this black gasket right in here, which seals the cooler and helps you keep the cooler really nice and cool inside there. So it'll help retain everything in here really nicely. It's very easy to put the uh, lid back on or take off as I showed you already. And another thing is this can support up to 400 pounds. So you could use this as a tabletop, a stool, or a chair, you can sit on it. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing over time, obviously, how well this design or this, the durability is of this cooler because uh, that's one of their strong selling points is the durability. So let's see how well this uh, cooler works. And then I'll share my final thoughts with you guys about this East Oak 25 quart cooler. So I am over here at the Courtney Campbell Causeway here in Tampa. We came to fish, but we lost the good weather. We have a storm moving in, uh, but we're gonna go load up the uh, cooler and just hang out for a while here. Have a couple drinks, throw a couple lines in and see uh, how well this cooler does today. I want to show you guys real quick. This is an igloo cooler and it's been sitting with ice, melted ice here for two days. 
Well, this one is supposed to do way better. And I'm just gonna transfer everything over there. I got two bags of ice. I got some beer, some fruit, some cans, and some bottles. So we're gonna start putting these in. We're gonna stand them up. And I'll let you know how many I have in total here shortly. I'm not being sponsored by any of these, so disregard the modelos. Just, you know, like a regular beer bottle. That'll work. But we gotta put some ice in here, so. We're gonna throw our fruit right here. I'm just gonna put some more ice in here. Not all of it, because then it won't shut. Just to kind of fill the gaps. It'll shut. Perfect. Nice. What do you think? I think it stores a whole lot more than I thought, you know? Let's see how cold our beers get. I've already sat on it with no issues. The lid is still flat, no dents or anything. Let's see if it can withstand. I weigh 195 pounds, 200 pounds basically. Feels sturdy. Really sturdy actually. Pretty impressive. No, no give there at all. So about a whole hour after, ice is still looking good. Obviously it's melting a little bit there's i don't know if you guys can see there a little bit of puddling but nothing major it's holding up well all right guys so just a couple things that i noticed uh everything's nice and cold the beers are cold and in the manual it does say to keep it in the shade i'm under a palm tree but it's overcast today and it's only about 82 degrees so it's not that hot it's actually nice out today but i did notice the water pooling up i'm gonna have to use the drain later on to drain that but so far, everything's cold as, as it should be. In regards to the price of this cooler, it retails for $125.99, and the 45 quarts model retails for $145.99 on Amazon.com as of the time of filming this video. All right, guys, it's been 24 hours since I was out fishing yesterday, and I had to pack up and leave because of a bad storm that came through the Tampa Bay area. We're going to go over here and check to see how the remaining beers and beverages have held up. And let's go check on that ice. All right, so I left it overnight in my garage. I drained the water last night as well. Let's take a look how well the lid, the gasket, everything's done. I'm expecting this to be really nice and cold in here. Uh, should do a good job sealing it. So let's see. All right, everything's really nice and cool in here. Bottle is ice cold. We do have some water, but we also have big chunks of ice still left. Plenty of ice actually, if you can hear it. If you can see it, plenty of ice in here and all my beverages are ice cold, so that's the important part. Keep in mind also, it's important to drain this when you have the, the water in there, because that also slows down the melting of the ice when you get rid of that water. So just make sure you unplug it in the back like I showed you guys earlier. But yeah, everything is really nice and cold in here. The uh, thickness of the walls and the insulation seem to be working very well. So 24 hours later, still nice ice and cold beverages in here with plenty of ice, just gotta drain the water a little bit. So to conclude my review of the East Oak 25 quart cooler, I think it's a fantastic choice for outdoor enthusiasts. This cooler checks all the boxes for outdoor uses. I think it's perfect for camping, beach day trips, or grilling out in your backyard. Its insulated walls and tight fitting lid create a secure and airtight seal, effectively preserving the cold air inside and prolonging the freezing storage time with its innovative diversion grooves. The way the drain and the drain plug are designed really make it easy when it comes to emptying the melted ice without having to tilt over the cooler. This also helps when it comes to reducing the excess weight of the cooler. Its wider, shallower interior makes it easier to just stick your hand in there and grab a drink or the food beneath the ice, unlike much deeper coolers where you have to go in elbow deep. And having the ability to open the lid from either side or detaching it completely just gives you easy access from any angle. Also, the ergonomic handles ensures easy transport, although in my brief experience, I did notice a slight wobble when two people carried it. It was still easy to move around, even when fully loaded though. So the handles are actually not too bad when you carry it with two people, but carrying it with 
by yourself. One person, it's not too bad either. It's just a little heavy depending on your load. So yeah, don't hurt yourself trying to carry this by yourself. I recommend carrying it with two people. So not only is this cooler very convenient, but it's also built to last. East Oak uses a roto molded construction, which is a very durable and impact resistant material, which in my opinion, sets it apart from other coolers on the market. And as you guys saw earlier in the video, it does a great job with ice retention, even after 24 hours of use. And a major plus for me is the fact that it can support up to 400 pounds, which makes it very versatile, enough to be used as a footstool seat or even a small outdoor table. So if you're in the market for a reliable and functional cooler that keeps your items cold for extended periods of time, the East Oak 25 quart cooler is definitely worth considering. It's exceptional insulation and convenient features make it a top choice for your outdoor adventures in my opinion. Let me know in the comments what you think of the design of this cooler. Do you think it's worth the money? Do you think they should add different color options? I hope you guys found this video informative. If you did, please give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.